So, on Friday, I recorded my interview thing on the in the morning, and in the evening I went to a party, but I'm going to show it to you in reverse order. Hello. Hello. How old will you be in five years? Five years? Yeah. Um, hang on. 21. 26. And how old will you be in ten years? Uh, 31. And if where do you think you'll be in five years? We'll go back to five. Okay, so in five years, I hope to still be in London somewhere, and I hope to have um, my own place or like share with someone or other people. Um, if I can't stay in London, I'd either maybe I'd like to go somewhere like Brighton or Norwich, so I'm a bit closer to home, but still somewhere where there's a lot happening and that I can still be artistic. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> and what about ten years? Same or? Ten years, yeah, the same thing. I just want to. I want to be somewhere where stuff is happening, basically. Oh, do you know what kind of job you might like? So I'd love. I'd love to be paid for to be an artist um, and to make my own work. But I also, at the minute, I've really been enjoying um, being like a drum facilitator for young people with uh, disabilities. So I'd kind of maybe like to do a bit of both and sort of have um, do my own work, but also do some things for other people as well. I'd love to have my own. One of my aims is to have my own studio and to be able to just have a space where all my stuff is everywhere. That would be so awesome. Stuff. <laughs> um, and what would you say to yourself if you're watching this back when you're 26 or 31? I would say to myself, um, I hope that you're happy and that you're still full of zing and energy and that you haven't lost your passion for performance and art and performance art as a combination. Um, I hope that you have kept up your motivation and that you have believed in yourself. But most of all, I hope you're happy and that you're not worrying about anything and that you're healthy. Thank you, Hugo. Leo. Uh, how old will you be in five years? How what? How old will you be? 25. And how old will you be in 10 years? 30. And um, where do you think you'll be in five years? I have no clue. Absolutely no clue. Do you know what you'd like to be? Something fun and something I'm happy and proud of. Do you know what kind of job you might like? Um, something artsy, something creative, definitely, but I have the privilege to at least want to do that, so I'm happy. Um, and what about 10 years? Do you know where you want to be? Mm, no. Is that a good answer? That's fine. <laughs> um, one. I like nice things so much. <laughs> I want nice things. That's bad, isn't it? Uh, do you want a family? Do you want pets? No. I'll have a cat. I'll have a cat. Mm -hmm. Not so keen on the family, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, mm. um, and if, if I had watched this in ten years and I have a family... <laughs> what would you say to yourself if you're 25 or you're 30 and you're watching this back? Surely embarrassed. Um, stop worrying. Stop trying too hard. And I don't know. Just go with it. I'll probably my older self would be like take advantage. Do things. Go because I'll be old. And um, do you think 30's old? Be more. <laughs> be more. Um, less judgy to my closest friends. I want to be married with Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> with a cat and no dog and no children. We're going to have a dog. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not having a dog. Okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah. bye bye Hugo. Lizzie, man wearing trousers. <laughs> How are you? in five years? I will be 26. And how old will you be in 10 years? Oh my god, I'll be 31. And um, if you're watching this back, oh, when you're 26, yeah. do you know where you think you'll be or where you'd like to be? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> we'll be living together. <laughs> no, um, I just want to be doing stuff that I enjoy doing and making work with the friends I've met and still be in contact with people. That's awesome. Would you like to stay in London? Maybe for a bit. I don't know. 
with what's happening right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who knows what happened in five years? But I think I want to move around and get to get to know other places like I've got to know London, I think. Um, and what about ten years? Do you know what you'd like to have achieved by then? Um, Sensation. No. Um, <laughs> oh, that's Edinburgh Festival. Yeah. Isn't it? So, anyone going to the Edinburgh Festival this 2017? Go see Wacko. Go see Wacko. In 10 years' time, I just want to be looking back at these 10 years and think that there's nothing I would change about it. That is so good. That's, that's not wonderful. <laughs> And so if you're watching this back when you're 26 or 31, uh, what would you like to say to yourself? Say to myself in the future. Yeah, so you're watching this. Right. Uh, what is past Lily saying? Good luck. <laughs> and don't fuck it up. Fuck it up. <laughs> I'll sash it away. <laughs> How old were you being five years? 26. And how old were you being 10 years? 31. And uh, where do you hope to be in five years? I hope to... 26. I hope to be married. Because, yeah, if I'm still with my boyfriend, married. And have a job that I love, preferably in theatre. What about in 10 years? I hope to uh, 31. I hope to have a, some form of starting a family by 31. Yeah, 31. Okay, that's like. fantastic. And um, what would you say to yourself? And I want a job. I hope that you did stuff and didn't let worry stop you from doing stuff. Hello, Beth. Hello, Jenny. How old will you be in five years? I will be 25. And how old will you be in 10 years? I'll be 30. And uh, what, where do you think you'll be in five years, or where would you like to be? Okay, in five years, I'd like to have done a master's in vocal studies at either Guildhall or the Royal College of Music. Right, hello, look, let's start again. Hello, Beth. Hi, hi Jenny again. <laughs> how old will you be in five years? I'll be 25. And how old will you be in 10 years? Oh, I'll be 30, That's Jenny. That's matters. It's almost as if we've done this before. It's almost like we did it just now. Okay. And Beth, um, well, where, where do you hope to be in five years? Well, I hope to have got a master's in vocal performance from uh, like one of the music colleges because that's what I would like just to do as a thing. Not as a profession, just as a thing to do. Uh, is that what your next step is from now? Usually I would say, you know, if we're making a video about my life, I would say it would be my next step in the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, where do you hope to be in ten years? Um, I'm not sure. I'd say probably not in London. Um, uh, not in London, why not? Because I don't want to stay in London forever. It's too depressing. The, it is a truth. It is a truth. It is a truth. I'd, I'd hopefully like to be in Scotland or somewhere in the country or somewhere which has trees and is not polluted all the time. That's nice. And um, uh, in 10 years, would you like to have a job? Would you like to have a family? Would you like to have any pets? I mean, hopefully I'd have a job or some source of income. Um, Do you know what kind of job you'd like? No. Okay. <laughs> None at all. Um, I mean, goals would be have a cat um, and have someone who I like enough to live with. But no, no kids, please. Okay. Just be happy and don't mess it up and don't let anyone compromise what you want. Don't don't settle for anything that you're not happy with. Just okay. let it go. Very good. And does Jeremy have anything to say? Me, like like when you think about it, like life's just all like this one big like kind of like circle where you're like kind of not there like you're outside of it but like you're in it as well like so like you can see what you're doing but then you can't so like I would say like don't think like too much about it because like you're not in the circle and you'll only see the circle after but then I guess that's the point that you don't know what's going to happen so like when you think about it like just, just don't know what you're doing and then it'll all be, be fine because you, you won't like know that you're doing it and then afterwards you can look back on it and it, like, it'll all just be fine because you've already done it did you just make that up? yeah mate that was really good <laughs> yeah I, I think I live and breathe Jeremy I, ju I just love him okay yeah. that's marvellous hello Ella hello um, how old will you be in 5 years? I'll be 25 and how old will you be in 10 years? I'll be 30 and um, if you're 25 where do you hope to be? to be in some kind of career that I've found that I really love 
maybe something along the lines of applied theatre, maybe, um, I've actually had an idea recently we were doing applied performance art, uh, something along those lines, but it doesn't matter if it's not that, I'm, I haven't really found my, my niche yet, so hopefully I want to have found my niche by 25, that would be good. And what about 30, where do you hope to be when you're 30? Uh, even more successful in my career, hopefully with a couple of dogs, a couple of cats, that would be nice, at least, you know, one of each. Do you think you'll still be in London? I'm not sure, probably not. I don't really want to... I always think I can't have lots of pets in London, really, can I? It's not fair on them. You need lots of rooms to run around. But I definitely You'd have to be right next to a park. Yeah, I would have to be right next to a park. So I think maybe not. And also, I don't think I could buy a house in London. I don't think I'll ever have enough money for that. So, so if 30 year old me, if you have enough money for that, well done. Uh, <laughs> but overall, I just want to be happy, really. I don't mind where I am as long as I'm pretty happy. Well, creative and don't settle for some boring office job just because it pays your rent. Hello Lucy. Hello. How old will you be in, uh, I'll start with five years, how old will you be in five years? How old will I be? Yeah. 25. And how old will you be in ten years? 30. And uh, where do you hope to be in five years? Five years I'm still travelling, hopefully with a dog, Malamute Husky. Travelling, possibly have bought a place in Iceland and go there and mainly stay there and then travel from there. But in uh, five years, job wise, just continue the baristering stuff, I think, just to make the money. I'd like to go to California, which I'm doing this summer, hopefully. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, Iceland, I've already been, but I'd like to travel around properly. I'd also like to go to Greenland. I would like to go to Norway, Switzerland. I'd also like to go to Greece. I would like to go to um, Mexico. I'd also like to go to loads more, but there's loads. I mean, how much time do oh, we have? Well, so that is. Yeah, I really would like to visit many places within having done, you know, within five years. What about ten years? Do you know where you'd like to be? I think thirty years old as a woman. I have to settle down, so probably, hopefully, I would have met someone by then. You know, hello. <laughs> this is our surprise guest. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, in ten years, I probably would say um, settle down in probably California with a job acting, singing, or teaching. That's really Primary good. Primary school. Primary school. Apply for your PGC. Do it. Get it done so that you have experience. Then make a shit ton of money. Go traveling. Then meet a guy. Is PGC your next step then? I have to. Yeah, I have to get that under my belt. Okay. Because then I can move on and I can forget about education because I've got it. Yeah. Me, you know, because I know if I leave traveling, I won't want to come back. Hello, Katie. Hello. <laughs> um, how old will you be in five years? Stop five. Five years from today. Yeah. Um, wait, 22, 27. And 10 years? 37. 32. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, so, yeah. 32. <laughs> and um, in five years, where do you hope to be? God, it's like lively. Or where do you hope to be? <laughs> yeah. Or <laughs> I'm going to have kids. No. Um, hopefully, have found a partner. Um, and hopefully, doing something with acting and potentially living in America. That sounds amazing. <laughs> what about 10 years? <laughs> 10 Work or physical theatre work. Hopefully engaged. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> um, still in America? Or? Uh, yeah, possibly. I don't know. It depends where my acting takes me. Yeah. Possibly. Okay. <laughs> and do you have any advice for your future self? Anything you'd like to say? Um, stop doubting yourself. Um, stop caring what people think so much and love yourself. Sophie, hello. Hi. Um, where would, how old will you be in five years? In five years, yeah. I'll be 26. And 10? Uh, 31. <laughs> and um, where do you hope to be in five years? Uh, in, in London, hopefully working as a production coordinator, manager in the film. And um, what about 10 years? 10 years? Oh, I'd like to produce yeah. my first film. Hopefully my own, I've got an idea for it. Um, do you hope to be in London? Do you hope to have a family? Any yeah. pets? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, like two dogs, like four kids, married, like all that stuff. Settled down, living in a great big house in Notting Hill. That, that's dream. Ideally. That would be a dream. Um, do you have any advice to your future self? Um, trust yourself. Trust your instincts. And um, probably love yourself because you're worth it. Oh. It's so true though. Yeah. <laughs> Hello Gina. Hello. Happy birthday. Hello. Is this a 
today or was it yesterday? No, it's not even yesterday, it's next Wednesday. And where do you hope to be in five years? What do you hope to be doing? I don't know, you know. I will have hopes for, like, travels and um, just to, like, matured a bit, I think. Grown up a bit more and, like, um, figured out what you really want to do in five years' time. Maybe be saving up for a house. Uh, What about 10 years? 10 years I hope to be pretty settled. Um, definitely in love. Definitely pretty stable, pretty secure financially. And yeah, like I have figured myself out, know myself pretty well. And um, funny hard. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Hello, Mimi. Hi, Janelli. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Um, how old will you be in five years? In five years, I will be 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 10 years from today? 34. And um, what would you like to be? What would you like to be doing when you're 29? When well, I'm 29, I would really like to be in a stable job. I don't really mind what that is. Rather, hopefully, I hope it will be in like public relations. Um, like, hopefully, I'll be like the head of press somewhere. I don't really know. But I'd like to like be maybe married by 29, and maybe like at least be pregnant with my first child. Do you think you'll still be in London? I hope so. London, or maybe like I'm in the process of like booking a trip to New York. So like I'm waiting to like discover that city. So like. London or like a big city because I feel like I'm like a big city girl. When you're 34. Wow, I really hope that I would be married with children. And do, would you like a house? Um, yes. I would like to be a homeowner if I could be. But I don't really know what kind of the implications for that right now are sort of very tenuous and a bit like But that is the goal. Can't meet that goal. That's fine. If I'm still renting, as long as I'm happy and you know with children and in a supportive relationship, then that's fine. That's wonderful. Um, yeah. And what do you have any advice for your future self or anything you'd like to say to them when they're watching this back? Just make sure that you're doing what you love, what you love, and that you're with someone who like really values you and know that you are loved. To have friends who love you and value you, and you're a good person. Hello, Jude. Hello. Uh, how are you? Um, how will we be in five years? Twenty-five. And how will we be in ten years? Thirty. <laughs> Everyone has that faith. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, where do you hope to be in five years? What do you hope to be doing? Uh, hopefully. Just about, uh, hopefully I've just finished my PhD or freelance. Um, and what would your PhD be in? Uh, something to do with experimental music. I have a science master's course to look at what to do. <laughs> Are you doing the master's? Uh, yeah, doing a master's in experimental music. What about in 10 years, what would you like to be doing? Um, hopefully, I don't know, two options. Uh, either still going freelance and going well, or... job while also doing freelance at the same time and balancing both. Would you like to be an academic? Uh, I wouldn't say academic. I'd more just like to be paid to do research. In ten years, if you're watching this back, do you have any advice for yourself or anything you'd like to say to yourself? Uh, the definition of, definition, definition of a successful composer is uh, still doing it. You're always still successful as long as you're still composing. Hello, Danny. Hi. Um, how old will you be in five years? 26. How old will you be in 10 years? Uh, 31. And um, what would you like to be doing in five years? Uh, I would like to have my own website and app that is managing musicians. Uh, uh, That's such a cool idea. Uh, oh my God. A, a rental company for people who are either amateurs or semi-pros or professionals. Yeah. to find gigs easily around there in an area. Is music like your, your thing then? Uh, lately it is. Um, I'm hoping I've got a few friends who write on like some websites and blogs so they get involved. 
and hopefully I can be in a band part time because it's fun. Well, hopefully all my earnings from <coughs> my app <laughs> will grant me a nice villa in Thailand. And hopefully work from home is my goal. Well, that would be fantastic. Um, and if, do you have any advice for your future self or anything you'd like to say when you're watching this back? Uh, yeah, uh, Daddy, know when to say no. Um, discipline yourself. Uh, work hard because too many nights go by where you go like, oh, I'll have a beer. And another one, and another one. And it's fine when you're 21 and you're at uni. But not when you're working, so. Hello, Sal. Hi. Um, how old will you be in five years? Good, 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 good question. 27. And how old will you be in 10 years? Uh, 32. And um, where do you hope to be in five years? And what about 10 years? 10 years. Um, I would like to have enough money to have a, a, a good shower head. Uh, that is so true yeah, though. Yeah, like, but like that's, that's an a, a, a amount of disposable income that is like, you've got to prioritise, you know what I mean? And you know, if you have kids or whatever, then you know, and they want presents, they want clothes or something. You, 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 don't, you don't need them, you just need that walk full shower head, it's very important. Would you like to have a family in 10 years? Yeah, maybe. Uh, do you know what kind of job you might like? Um, yeah, I will, I, as I am now, a famous performance artist. Would you think of somebody in London? Um, I, I'd like to think so, but I bet older me will be like, lol, <laughs> London burned to the ground uh, eight years ago, the apocalypse. Ooh, very nice. Um, and and positive. Do you have any advice for your future self if you're watching this back? Yeah, chill out. Obviously, I'm in a relationship. Chill out. You know, have a cuddle with a dog. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Hi Chloe. Hi. Where do you hope to be in 10 years? Uh, remaining in the immortal world. <laughs> um, a witch, an undead witch in my cupboard. So that's where I am now, that's where I'll always be. Hope to see you there someday. Lovely. So it's Friday now and yesterday was the drama exam and the last lesson I suppose what would I say to myself in five or ten years so I'll be 26 and 31 like most people I spoke to this week I what I would like in ten year, in five or ten years is to still be living in London or maybe um, another cool city maybe New York or California or I'm so film it's ridiculous maybe another city in the UK or you know kinda open to whatever happens what's nice about being in London is that that's where my film friends are, and I want to keep making films. Uh, so it would be nice to be able to be close to them, and I like hanging out with them and working with them as well. I would like to keep making films, I'd really like to write my book. I want, I definitely want my book to be published in five years, because I wrote, started writing it when I was 14, I wanted it to, to be published by the time I was 16, I'm 21 now, it was good that it wasn't published when I was 16, because I had to go back to it when I was 18 and 19 to actually make it a good book. Um, but now it's been seven years and I want it published now so I'd really like that to be published. I would really like to have written more. Uh, not necessarily a book, maybe a TV series or a web series, uh, maybe um, a film or a play. It doesn't have to be published, it doesn't have to be happening, I just want it to be written. In ten years I would like, I don't know, the same stuff really. Um, I'd like to be producing big budget films, that would be nice. But we'll see, like, I might have a career change, who knows. If in 10 years you're not working full time on your own films, you're working for a big company on other people's films, maybe it's time to go to your own films. I would, I would hope in 10 years, if I'm not working full time on my own films, on my own writing, that I, I am. So if you're not, maybe think about that. Lucky that I know what I want to do, because most people my age don't, and that's okay. I think during my degree I realised, during kind of like the past 12 months, I realised how okay it is to not know what you're doing. 
because over the summer between second and third year, I was so anxious about what I was going to do next year, what I was going to do after I graduated. Um, and now I feel so much better about it, uh, even though I don't have more of a plan. I suppose I've got a bit more of a short-term plan because like, I'm applying for jobs at the moment. I hope you've travelled. If not, why not? In five years, I'd like to be more confident. Um, I think, weirdly, during my degree, I kind of lost a lot of confidence. Not as a result of my degree, just as a result of stuff that happened. I hope, yeah, I hope I'm more confident in myself and who I am and liking myself and loving myself and not being worried about other people not liking me as much. Um, I hope I'm confident in my career. I'm hoping confident that I'm good at my job. Uh, because even though people tell me I'm good at producing, sometimes it takes a while, like sometimes I struggle to believe it. I hope I no longer feel like I have to agree with other people or I'm worried about disagreeing with other people. I hope I say what I think more. I suppose I just want to, I just want to keep being happy uh, as much as I can. If I get sick again, I get sick again. But you know what, I survived it two, three times before, I can do it again. It's pretty hypocritical of me to have asked everyone what they want to see themselves in five or ten years because it, life is all about now and like five or ten years will be now eventually but um, there's no point trying to think I'll be happy then because there isn't really then, there's only ever now. I hope I have a dog. <laughs> nice to have a, a flat, don't have to own it. It'd be nice to own it but um, as long as it's kind of a one bed. So yeah, Jenny, if you're watching this back and you're 26 or 31, hopefully you know better than I do and hopefully you're more confident than I am and you don't need any advice from me. Don't betray what you really want. Don't betray the things that make you happy. Stay true to your heart. I would like this to be a little bit of a time capsule for you to look back on and think, oh yeah, this was the life I was in. So I was in my the same house I'd lived in for second and third year of uni. Um, I was living with uh, my partner and three housemates. I just become, I just started eating fruit. Here are some berries. I've been a vegetarian now for like two months. And it's been really easy cooking at home because I can just replace a meat product with a corn product. But it's really difficult to eating out because pretty much everything vegetarian on the menu has like cheese in it. I don't like cheese. And it's all good, well and good eating uh, loads of healthy food, but you're also still eating like a lot of chocolate. I remember in the first week of class we would introduce ourselves, go around the room, but and we said, um, why did, had we chosen the degree? And I said, I just want to figure out what I want to do in my life. And I remember the teacher saying, don't we all? Um, but you know what, if that was your only goal, then you achieved it, because... No, I do kind of know what I want to do with my life. Thanks to everyone who made my degree a great three years, really, really good three years. Uh, thanks to everyone who, at the drama, all the teachers, all the students, um, all my friends. And thanks to everyone who was in my video. Um, and I hope you will watch this again in five and ten years.